Hello everybody and welcome back to Right is Right. And I know I've been gone for a little while, but that's because I kind of wanted to stand back a little bit and see what exactly is happening with all of this election fraud. And my goodness, is it piling up? It's about to touch the clouds. And there's a video that was released recently that shows just how bad the fraud is. We're going to talk about that in this video today. There are some low information people that claim that Trump's losing all his court cases. But don't listen to those people. Most of those court cases weren't even filed by Trump or Trump's team. They're filed by individuals that felt like they were wronged. Like all of us. All of us were wronged who voted for Trump to find out that it was stolen from him. Everything was stolen. So they put in lawsuits. And there's so many activist judges out there nowadays a lot of those those lawsuits got rejected, especially in Pennsylvania. My lord, that place is just full of activist judges. But that has nothing to do with Donald Trump's team uh, or his lawsuits. We are where we are right now because the left exposed themselves. Trump received so many more votes than they expected. And because of that, they had to go way overboard with their cheating. And what we're about to watch shows just what they had to do to catch up and to surpass Donald Trump. Now, let's talk about some of the facts that we absolutely know without a doubt. Some fraudly things, and yes, again, I made up a new word, fraudly, <laughs> but that's my new word. Some fraudly things that we saw from these piece of garbage Democrats. One of them is a video that was released recently. And to say that this video is damning, <laughs> that's an understatement. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video so you all can see for yourself. All right, now to give this video a little more context and background, this happened on November the 3rd in Atlanta, Georgia, in the room where they were counting the votes. It's 11 o'clock at night, and we can see these people, these poll workers, start to pull out boxes from underneath the desks. And this is after they told all the conservative poll watchers to leave the room. Now, the person that put all these boxes under the table has been identified as Ruby. She's the one with the blonde braids. And the biggest question to all of this is, why would these boxes have stayed under the table for the whole day? Because remember, they were put there around 8 a.m. So why wouldn't they have been touched the whole day? This is late at night now. It's 11 o'clock at night. Why wouldn't you have brought these boxes out to count them from before? And why would you have only brought them out once all the conservative poll watchers were told to leave? That's right. They were told you have to leave. They weren't told, hey, look, if you want to take a break, you can take a break now. It's up to you all. No, they were told they need to leave the room. And then you bring out all these boxes and start counting them? Huh. And there's a lot more proof to just how shady this is. And it's in the same scenario. It's the same room, same everything. And notice how... Ruby counts these votes three times. Okay, so you can see that she's got a stack of ballots and she's going to put them in the tabulator for the first time. All right, she takes them out of the tabulator, the ones that she just counted, and notice. She takes the same stack she just counted and puts them back into the tabulator to run them again. That's two times now. And just like the first time, she takes them out of the tabulator, straightens them up a little bit, organizes them, and then puts them in the tabulator to run them for the third time. In total, there were about four big boxes that came out from underneath the tables. And that's why Ruby had to run them three times. Because there weren't enough votes to get what they needed in just those four boxes of illegal votes. So that's why they had to run those votes several times to get the numbers that they wanted. Each of these machines, these tabulators, can run about 3,000 votes per hour. You've got about four people in there counting, and they count it for two hours without any conservatives in the room to watch over them. Two hours is about 28 to 32,000 votes in total. 
and Trump lost Georgia by less than 12,000. Those were the votes they needed to win the state, and that is why they did what they did. They cheated, we caught it on tape, I don't care how they try to spin this, this is exactly what they did. And like I brought it before, there is no excuse to count these boxes now. When you had the whole day to count them, the, during the whole day, you never pulled them out. But now you do, to count while there's no one watching. It's obvious fraud, everybody. It's obvious fraud. Don't listen to what they try to say to spin this. Okay, because remember, they're not just going to say, oh yeah, well, you caught us, let's go to prison. No way. They're going to come up with every excuse in the book so that people don't believe that they cheated, but they did, and we caught them red-handed. And for anyone to say that there was no cheating in this election, they're blinded by their pure hatred of Donald Trump because we have a mountain of evidence and also affidavits that prove there was tons of voter fraud in this election. And my question to the Democrats is, if it's on the up and up, why are you all constantly getting rid of all of the Republican poll watchers? You're shaming them. You're calling them racist. You're doing everything under your power. You're bullying these people. Why would you do that? Why would you be so happy to get rid of them if this was a fair election? And another question is, why wouldn't Joe Biden address this? If he won fairly and he actually believes he won fairly, why wouldn't he say, you know what, guys? We got to be unified, which is something he's always talking about, unity, which is all complete nonsense. They know this. They robbed us of this election. And they know that most of the people are going to be upset, but they don't care. All they want is the power. And if he was an honest person, he would look into this himself. But he won't do that. First of all, Joe Biden can barely even put a sentence together. He, you know, he's, he's, he's completely gone. But there's a reason why he doesn't want to look into it, and that's because he knows they cheated. And they cheated bigly. This video is so strong and damning, regardless of what they try to spin on it. They're gonna, they've already, like I said, they've already started to spin this as no big deal. But it has prompted the governor, who basically decided he's not going to do anything. He's going to let the corruption continue because it, huh, maybe he's in on it. That's what a lot of people are thinking now. But it's prompted him to do another count, signature verification. Now, signature verification is nice. Why didn't he do it last time, first of all? But we need more than that. Let's open up everything. Let's take a look at the machines. Let's look at the ballots. Let's do it all. Why would we do only half of what we should do? We're back in the same boat as we were before. And I heard the question. Well, if we did a hand recount and it was the same number as what we said on election night, how is that fraud if we added a bunch of numbers from Dominion? Well, that's a simple answer. They've been planning this for four years, everybody. They planned meticulously. It would not have been difficult for them after the election was over and they asked for a hand recount again for them to install more fake ballots. Why wouldn't it be? They probably had a ton of fake ballots just waiting for it in case there was a hand recount that was called. So they had those fake ballots and they just simply installed it back into all the ballots. So it looked like, hey, look, these are all legal. See, we told you so. But with the signature verification, hopefully it weeds out some of those ballots. But like I said, it's been way too long after the election. They planned for this for so long. I really don't know how much they're gonna have, even if they do a forensic uh, search of these machines, these Dominion machines. They've had a month to delete everything off of these servers. So I don't know what they're going to find, and it may actually even help the left if we look into them and then we find nothing because they wiped them clean. Remember, they've had a month to wipe these things, and I'm sure they did that probably a couple of days after the election. I'm hoping that with the experts on the right that we can find something on these machines to prove there was election fraud, but I don't know. And what makes this even more suspicious now is that there are election officials in Georgia that are now saying if we don't wipe the Dominion voting machines completely clean, there could be grave and serious consequences. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> we know there's going to be some very grave and serious consequences for you all. You all will be spending your life in prison. Just like the story they're trying to spin now with a video of the fraudulent votes being pulled out from underneath the table, they're trying to spin this too. They're trying to say that this is something they absolutely have to do for the runoff election, blah, 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 blah. We know the real reason why you all want to wipe these machines down, and it ain't because you're honest people. Well, that is all I have for you all for this video, everybody. 
I'll be putting out many more videos showing the evidence. It's almost overwhelming at this point. There's so much evidence that it's almost too much. <laughs> and that's one of the difficult parts of all this is sorting through, you know, what's really good evidence and then what's more hearsay. And I really want to show the more tangible evidence that we have. And there's plenty of that too. And there's so much that when Trump does get to the Supreme Court, I have complete and total confidence that he's going to prove his case. He's going to win. And we'll have four more years of Donald Trump, which is what this country needs. So with that said, everybody, I'm going to say goodbye. Please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. And have a great weekend, everyone. Take care and stay safe.